to us a little bit about how this particular purchase will change the Uber experience for me. Sure. I mean, Uber has a lot of data problems that you don't see, you know, especially as it gets into sort of carpooling where you're picking up multiple passengers, you're trying to figure out, you know, who, you know as a driver's moving, who they should be picking up and sort of how do you cram the most number of people in the car. The more Uber can do that, you know, the more they can bring down prices. Also, you know, the more uh, constantly crowded that the car will be. So it's, it's, it's a lot of normal problems like that. And then, of course, there's the self-driving car questions. You know, how do we build a self-driving car that, that, you know, is ready for the unexpected? What about mapping? I mean, mapping still seems to be an issue in any Uber ride. The driver sort of fiddling with the app, changing the app to Waze or Google Maps. Is this something that would improve that technology? You know, it's possible. Uh, you know, Uber's spending a lot of money trying to sort of slowly move away from dependence on Google. It still sends a lot of requests to Google to solve some of its problems, but is building out some of its own technology there and, you know, has its own mapping software that it still has to rely on others for its drivers. But yeah, like we've all seen, you know, drivers are still checking out and going to Waze or Google Maps. And I think Uber wants to solve that, um, especially for products like Pool, where they really need the driver to be able to do everything in the app. There's been a land grab for AI companies, whether it's Apple or Google or Facebook. Do you see Uber ascending to the ranks of the big tech companies? I, I think Uber's a hot place to be. It has a lot of fun problems. You know, a lot of these engineers are drawn, even internally, to work on the self-driving car problem. So it's a question of sometimes how interesting the problems are there. And I think, you know, as long as Uber keeps sort of pushing the agenda and says, okay, you know, we're going to play around with flying cars next and we're going to support that. You know, I, I think as long as the questions remain interesting and their challenges, then they'll bring in better and better engineers. So I, I, I think we'll have to see, but I think they certainly are a big enough company uh, and promising right. company. You said it, flying cars. That's yeah. next. Prediction from Eric Newcomer, our Bloomberg reporter. Thanks so much, Thank Eric. You.